you're always looking at how he's walking, how he's swinging. Those are the two things in terms of his pain management. Um, he was walking great. It's the most mobile I've seen him in a long time. Swing was looking great. When you saw him up there within touching distance after two rounds, you thought, could he? If he could just get within five on Sunday, great. So I think the fact that we're having those conversations on a Friday means that, yes, he's got something left in the tank. Um, but I think the question mark is how frequently can he play? Because for these guys at the top level, golf is constantly advancing, as are all of our sports, with how much we know about the body and techni technique and technology all coming into play. Can he keep up? in terms of can he keep playing and keep his game sharp? Because there's a little bit of rust. Yes, he's in physical pain as well, but he has to be so at the top of what he has left of his game now to compete with guys like Scotty Scheffler, like Ludwig Olberg coming through each generation. They're getting better and better. And I think Rory McIlroy is sort of looking at the similar thing because, you know, five, ten years ago, Rory McIlroy was Ludwig Olberg. Mm. Now you've got him coming through and you've got to be a little bit careful. And I think for Rory, is it technique? I mean, he went to see Butch Harmon and they thought they found something with loading the right arm. Let's see if that beds in. For me, I think there's something psychologically in terms of performing at the top level that he has to try and figure out, whether that's seeing a sports psychologist, working with a performance coach, mm. changing something around who he has around him on his team. I, I don't know, but I feel like it would be such a heartbreaking shame if he didn't complete the Grand Slam, if he didn't win another major. Um, but I think he has to change something. He's got to do something different. So it might be the mental barrier for I think Rory, so. For yeah. me personally, yeah, because, yes, he's had top fives in majors, but it's come from uh, faltering in the third round and then coming back up through the field in the fourth round. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's like when he gets in there in the spotlight, wants maybe wants it too much i'm not sure what the psychological thing that's playing out in there is falls away then comes back up i don't think he's so good he's so talented we want to see him win so badly and i think when you've got that talent making the most of it if you look at someone like a wyndham clark he's maxing out on his talent Rory mcelroy is not maxing out on his talent and for me that's psychological mm. wow okay um I think some people would be sad to hear that, of, of course, that they want Rory McIlroy to keep on winning and they want Tiger to carry on playing for years and years to come, but it's just not realistic.